an empty shoe! Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one website building platform to build a brand, grow your business, and pursue your passion. Hello everybody and welcome back to After Advent Season, the series on this channel that just really allows my procrastination to shine. Today I figure why not go ahead and just do two more Sephora Advent calendars. Did you guys even know there were that many Sephora Advent calendars? I think I bought like six. I literally like hunted down every single Sephora Advent calendar I could possibly get my little grubby mitts on. This thing right here came I guess from France, I don't know. This one I I didn't mean to acquire, but here it is. No offense to you, buddy, but I thought this one was that one back there when I bought it. It's not though. So today to help us like work through the six or four advent calendars I purchased, I thought we'd do these two. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to compare the two. So like go back and forth day by day and compare the items on the inside. I'm just gonna go ahead and preface this. It's not gonna be like a direct comparison kind of thing because like there are differences in prices and day count and that it's fine, it's fine, we're just here for fun. So the orange calendar up here, which I thought was the Sephora Favorites UK version, is actually the Sephora Favorites like Europe version, the EU version. From what I've been able to find, this was available on like Sephora France and I think Denmark and also eBay, because that's where I got it from. This, if you were able to purchase it from like a Sephora France website, which I was not, because I live in the US, was 149 euros or $164.91, which is all lovely, fine and dandy, but that is not how much I paid. <laughs> I did purchase this from somebody in France off eBay. So I paid $200 plus $35 shipping. Is it just a little bit more? Not, you know, insane, insane amounts more. And it, it honestly, it came in terrible condition. At least the outer packaging. I mean, just mangled. It is supposed to be worth 420 euros or 465 US dollars. So that's pretty good. That's not too bad. It is also a 24 day advent calendar. And it says on the front here that there are like 10 full size products. That's nice. All right, now this one down here is the US version of the Sephora favorite advent calendar. It was $99. I was able to actually purchase it through the Sephora website. I did not have to go off eBay this time. It has a $340 value and there are 25 days in this one. So that's kind of what I mean here by like this isn't going to be a direct comparison because this one up here is more expensive and it also has a higher value. So let's go ahead and get on into the little advent calendars here. Yeah, like I said, this one did come pretty beaten up in the outer packaging. So I'm hoping everything's okay on the inside. The corners are heard some disconcerting clanking. I was gonna say the corners are smooshed in a little bit, so that's a little concerning. And also the clanking in here, it's, it's getting me a little bit nervous. Here we have the European version of the calendar. Everything has little individual boxes. And then for the US version of the box, everything has little push doors. All right, so let's begin here with day number one in the US calendar. Oh, okay, so we have something from Rare Beauty. I haven't really tried out, really, I don't know if I've tried out anything, honestly, from Rare Beauty before. I know the blushes are super popular. This looks like it might be a lipstick or some type of cream stick product. Oh, it's a black mascara. You no, know, not as exciting as potentially like a color lipstick or cream product, uh, but I'm interested in seeing what the little wand looks like. Ooh, I do like these kind of wands though. Nice and big and fluffy. It's a little nubby. Sometimes when you get these little like sample size, trial size mascaras, the, 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 it makes the nub too short. It's a little bit hard to like work into your eyelashes, but um, I do like the wand of this. Oh, that smells a little different. Typically all mascara smells like Flonase. Like most all mascara smells like Flonase. This smells a little bit like like the ground, like the earth. <laughs> Let's see what we have in date number one for the European calendar. Oh, what a tiny cute little palette. The first thing we have in here is from Natasha Denona and this is the Baby Love palette. That's really cute. A nice little pink shade and a maroon and kind of like a shimmery gold. I think this would be really pretty for like, <laughs> I don't know, what, I don't know what that was. I think I was trying to say Halloween and it came out <laughs> Valentine's Day. But yeah, very cute. I like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Both of these doors say bonus on them. Sephora, Sephora USA is giving us bonus items. <laughs> Quite excited to get to the bonus days and see what could possibly be in there. But let's go ahead for day number two. All right, the US calendar day number two, we have a little thing here from Paula's Choice. This is an exfoliate 2% BHA exfoliating liquid. And uh, people said this was really, really nice. It's a salicylic acid. It's supposed to unclog your pores and like smooth your skin tone. This is what I said I wanted to rub on my arms. Try to get rid of my chicken skin. And now that I'm thinking about it, I have no idea where the first bottle of this that I received is. Day number two here from the EU advent calendar. What could possibly be? Okay, so this is from the, the one in key list. I think I've called it the inky list before. Uh, probably neither of those are correct. But this is an oat cleansing balm that is supposed to help remove makeup and cleanse sensitive skin. And um, yeah, that's not pretty good. So I mean, okay, we're only two days in here, but so far things seem to be a little bit on the similar side. Start off day one with a little bit of makeup. Day two, we have some skincare. So things are kind of similar. Okay, day number three here of the US version of the advent calendar is kind of a big door. So I'm excited. 
tell me you guys can see what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, that tickled my funny bone so good. <laughs> Thank you, Sephora. Sometimes you just need a good laugh. Sometimes you need a good like belly laugh and Sephora can honestly offer that to you. Most of the time it's either like rage or <laughs> just giggling. <laughs> That's just that, that made me giggle. I never really have used these tiny little beauty blending eggs. I wonder if this is from the actual brand, the beauty blender. There's nothing like stamped on it. This little, this little bag here um, is just a plastic tiny bag. It's just a little, it's like, now you see it and now you don't. Okay, day number three. I on, th honestly, I, I needed that laugh. Thank you, Sephora, that's good. Day number three of the EU version. I think this might just be like a universal worldwide Sephora thing. If you receive a NARS blush and anything having to do with Sephora, you know precisely, exactly what shade it's gonna be. I don't even have to say it. I'm gonna show you a quick little whoop. Can you guess? For those of you who don't know, it's a shade orgasm. It's the same single blush every single time. But at least it is a little bit of makeup. A little bit of makeup. Go through a little a sponge here on day three. Okay, day number four here. Look a little bit little. Mm, this could be kind of interesting. Mason Louis Marie. Is that all one name? This is the number 13 perfume oil. It's just a little tiny thing of it. Oh. Mm, okay, hold on. I feel like I like it. It also feels very reminiscent of something. I can't put my finger on what it is. Mason Louis Marie. Marie. It says the top notes are muguet. I don't know what that is. But coconut water and lemon and then there's Tuscan fig, tonka, agave, vetiver, amber, and centaur. Mm, I think it's that little bit of coconut that's coming through that I'm really enjoying. I actually really like this. Ooh, that has some heft to it. <gasps> I like that color. That's a pretty color. So we have a little nail polish here. It says it's in the shade dark pansy, but it does also say green, but I don't think that's what they're going for. Um, This is from The Manicurist. I really like this shade. I think that's a beautiful, deep, rich red. I really wish I had opened this, you know, in time for Christmas. This would have been a fantastic Christmas color. <laughs> it's all like nail polish, obviously. Even just with one little coat, it's probably gonna look different here on camera, but with just one little coat, it actually covered really nicely and the color is already built up pretty well. Probably do need a few coats to get it to this really like deep rich red color, but I also like the shape of this brush. It has one of those little like why is beaver tail the only descriptive word I can think of for this? Like it goes like this and then it's it's rounded at the top like a <laughs> oh, beaver's tail. I like that shape of brush. I feel like it really coats the nail nicely, it lays down on the nail nicely. So um, yeah, I think that's nice. Day at number five here from the US calendar. Okay, we have a Moroccan oil treatment. This is supposed to be for all hair types. I have used uh, some stuff from Moroccan oil before. It smells really good. I do like that about it. Oh, what a fun little bottle. That's kind of cute. It kind of reminds me of like little anti medicine bottles. I, I like that. <laughs> I like that look. Oh, okay. Day number five here from the European calendar is kind of in a big box. I'm excited about that. Slightly less excited now, but at least there are two things in here. So two little eye patches here from Patchology. They say serve chilled on them. We have a rosé one that has strawberry extract in it, and then we have a firming eye gel. I'm sure these feel really nice under the eyes, especially cold. Okay, real fast. I was super curious. I went ahead and put another layer of the nail polish on. I think that's so pretty. That's a really, really pretty red shade. It's gonna get all over everything. Might as well go ahead and eat this Ferrero Rocher as I'm waiting for my pinky nail to dry. Very true. Day number six is up next. This door is a little bit odd shaped. Ooh, that's in a glass bottle. I did not anticipate this being glass. The next thing we have here is from Youth to the People and this is Kale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. If I didn't know better, this, this sounds a little bit like something you're supposed to like wash your vegetables with, but it is indeed a pro-grade vegan face wash. Oh, that smells very healthy. Very fresh, very clean smelling. I'm sure it's lovely. Day number six from this one. Mysterious silver tube with nothing on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> there it is. It says RMS there on the bottom. So we just have a little like powdery pink looking lipstick here from RMS. There's really not a lot of information about this. I'm sure somewhere like on the advent calendar, I think on the back here, there's like more information, but I didn't want to read anything. Oh, look at me looking at it right now. Don't do that. But yeah, another little makeup item, so that's nice. Okay, day number seven here from the US calendar. <laughs> it's very small. Muster every bit of fingertip strength. I <laughs> had to get that out of there. We just have a tiny little pot here of the Drunk Elephant Proteiny. <laughs> teeny because it's so small. Polypeptide cream. This is a facial moisturizer and you get a full 
0.16 fluid ounces of it. Oh man, I've already messed up my fingernail. That nub it. All right, next day number seven, let's see what we got. Oh, okay, so there are Sephora branded products inside these advent calendars, I guess, because the next thing we have here is the Sephora Size Up Mascara. It's supposed to be an immediate supersized volume mascara, which personally, volume is like what I'm looking for when it comes to lashes. I have about 5,000 layers of mascara currently on my eyeballs right now, um, so I probably shouldn't be opening this right now, but it's in the shade Ultra Black. It looks really like nice and girthy chunky uh, which leads me to the belief there might be a nice fluffy wand in here so yeah it's full size I think so that's nice hoping Sephora France isn't doing what Sephora USA would definitely do which is just make like nine of the ten full-size products from their own brand I feel like that's a very Sephora USA thing to do all right Dana Braid over here is a tiny little door we have a little thing here of the Anastasia Brow Wiz is a skinny pencil in the shade medium brown okay that might work for my hair that's it. <laughs> That's as far as it'll go. That's all that comes in here. That's like shorter than a tip of like a number two pencil. Maybe not potentially forgo the spoolie to get a little more like actual product when you're getting samples like this. Because I personally would be fine with lopping off that spoolie if we could get an extra, I don't know, millimeter of product. Eight here from the EU calendar. Ooh, this looks kind of fancy. <laughs> I saw Good Girl and I was like, oh, perfume. And then it said blush and I was like, oh, blush. It's perfume. It, it's a perfume, I think. And then maybe the scent blush. But this is from Carolina Herrera. It is the Good Girl perfume and blush. I'm pretty sure the only perfume I've ever seen from Carolina Herrera is that like cute little shoe. I wonder if there's like a pink one. <gasps> It is! Oh, that's actually kind of adorable. I really like that. <laughs> that's really cute. Could you imagine? I can't imagine. I just took two Tylenol and one Excedrin migraine to, to get over what I assume was a headache from all the scents that are currently in this room. There's supposed to be 0.24 fluid ounces or seven milliliters of product in here. I don't think there's ever anything in here. I don't think it dried up or anything. It's, it's fully empty. There's no moisture, no liquid to be found. I'm gonna go fishing and see if there is ever any liquid inside of this jar. Dry as a bone. That's disappointing. <laughs> Maybe at this point I should just know if it has a connection to Sephora. You're, you're gonna be disappointed. Well, dang it. I was actually really excited to smell that. I mean, it's so cute, but unfortunately it is entirely empty. And honestly, as much as I love to rag on Sephora and blame them for anything I can, I don't, I don't think this is their fault unless they like knowingly bought faulty products. Is that what happens? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't think there's a conspiracy here. I'm sure it just accidentally didn't get filled up like during production or something and they just didn't realize it when they packaged it. Um, but at least we got a, I got a cute shoe now. All right, nine is up next. Oh, Slather. What a fun name. <laughs> this is Slather Tropicals. Exfoliating body serum for textured skin. I do have textured skin. Like I talked about my chicken skin. I have it on my arms, a little bit on my legs. It just likes to pop up randomly. I have like one patch like here for no reason. It says to slather all over the body two to three times per week or more as needed. Oh wow, it has retinol, lactic acid, urea. Urea, I've heard, is actually really, really good, especially for KP. Smell good? Urea smells terrible. I have an actual like urea moisturizer. It does not smell good. But this one says tropical, so maybe it smells like, I don't know, fruity? No, not really. Ah, okay, it do does not smell great, but hopefully it works well. All right, day number nine here from the orange calendar. Oh, we have something from Makeup Forever. I feel like it's been a really long time. <laughs> you might even say forever since we received something. Oh God, I'm sorry. So I received something from Makeup Forever. This is an aqua resist color pencil in the shade bronze. Ooh, it's gonna be pretty. Probably shouldn't put my mouth all over this random calendar that I got from a random person on eBay. <laughs> Oh, that's actually nice. It's really creamy and smooth, very pigmented. It does kind of reflect the light a little bit. It's kind of metallic. I like that. It's kind of like a golden deep bronze. A little bit of like a green hint to it. I think that's a fun color. It's also supposed to be a 24 hour waterproof eyeliner. So that's nice. And there's a little sharpener at the end, which is fun. Full disclosure, I thought the sharpener would be <laughs> would be like actually attached to the end of the little stick, but that doesn't, you know, make much sense for the sharpening action, does it now? I could keep those things to myself, but my brain won't let me. All right, day number 10 is up next year. They have to be running out of grande lash because I'm pretty sure I have all of it. Next thing we have here is just a little itty bitty guy of the grande lash and lash enhancing serum. I have like 17 bottles of this just sitting around. Each of those bottles lasts three months. Besides this one, this one's real small. <laughs> it's probably like a week. But I'm just absolutely set on grande lash which i'm okay with because it is very expensive 
I think I found the clanky thing from earlier. Is it broken? Oh, okay, it's not broken. It just happens to be multiple items in one day. I take back what I said. Yo, would you look at that? The full-size opal white gua sha that we should have been seeing in the other Sephora advent calendars. Mine, unfortunately, is no longer a full-size due to the broken nature of it. But this is the actual full-size one where we were getting, like, the little minis and all the other Sephora collection advent calendars. Along with a little gua sha that did, unfortunately, meet its demise on its journey from France. We have a little thing here of seasonally mask pew nuve. That was apparently supposed to be French. I'm very sorry about that. It also says Illumine and Norit, uh, which I'm assuming might translate to like illuminate and nourish. So a mask that illuminates and nourishes. I don't know. It's a really fun color. I like this kind of orange jelly. Looks like marmalade. Have you guys seen Paddington? 11 year in the US calendar. A very small door. Let's see what we have. Ooh, okay, it looks like it could be a fragrance. I get really excited about fragrances. I'll have to sniff at them. Oh, I almost totally forgot to mention, the boys are staying the night with their grandparents tonight, my parents, and uh, they're having a little sleepover, so that is why they're not back here. I totally forgot to mention that. So this is from Ella's Brooklyn. It's in the scent Myth. I'd say I've run out of wrist to put things on, but I forgot that there's actually nothing inside of this perfume as I was trying to smack it out onto my wrist. So this, this one's free. Okay, that's better. It was a little bit aggressive at first, um, but now it's not nearly as bad. Maybe not a fragrance that I typically would go for. I feel like there's a good amount of florals in it. I'm just not a huge floral fan. Okay, yeah, it does say that it has an airy beauty of jasmine petals and tiger orchid, and also a sexy, undeniable warmth of liquid musk and white cedar wood. From what I've learned about the origin of musk, I'm not really sure if I would call it sexy, to be honest. But I get, I get what you're coming from. I get where you're coming from. It is floral, but there is like a warmth to it as well. It's just not my personal favorite. Too much, too much, too, 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 to flower. To flower. All right, day at number 11 here from the EU calendar, Coconutter. This is from Lano Lips. It is a multi-balm 101 coconutter lip thing. Ointment for extremely dry lips. That's, that's me. Yep, yep. Let's go ahead and smack that on there. I'll get it in there. Gosh, that's thick. Why did that initially taste like movie theater butter? It's honestly kind of the same color, like a nice yellow. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, day at number 12. Again, very small door here from the U.S. Avon calendar. Oh, no makeup. So we have a little lip and stick. Lip and cheek. Lip and sh Not stick. Lip and cheek stick. In the shade work. It's a pretty color. I do actually like that color. It's a little bit more of like a unique color. I feel like when we get these multi-stick kind of things, they're usually the same pinkish shade. But this is an interesting, warm, a little bit of like an orangey undertone shade. And honestly, I know people get mad when I roll it all the way up. I'm just trying to see how much product is inside of here. But I do feel like you get a decent amount of product in here, unlike that little Anastasia thing. All right, 12 here, and we are about halfway through both of these calendars. Ooh, this is an interesting shade. Oh, this is also from Rare Beauty. Okay, so this is a perfect strokes matte liquid liner if you have to shake it I'm gonna give it a little shake first for a swatch I don't know why it's always so aggressive it doesn't have to be that aggressive oh this is a brush tip my useless left hand eh. okay it didn't swatch fantastically on the back of my hand it did skip a little bit maybe it's kind of maybe a little bit dried out it is a matte liner though so maybe that's just how the formula is oh but you know what there is a crack in this tube so I wonder if it did kind of get exposed to air I doubt you guys are gonna be able to see that little tiny crack but maybe the inside here because I'm guessing that's where all the like eyeliner is held um did get exposed to air and maybe it did dry out a little bit because it did seem a bit dry before I move on I'd love to tell you guys what today's sponsor is Squarespace I truly love working with and using Squarespace I have been for years now and it has been an all-around amazing experience I personally use Squarespace for my business but the possibilities are endless whether you're an artist who wants to show off your craft, a blogger who strives to inspire people, or an entrepreneur who wants to grow your business online, Squarespace has all the tools you need. Fluid Engine design system is groundbreaking and allows for unlimited creativity. Starting from a website template, you can drag and drop elements on your site and customize every detail on both desktop and mobile. With the online store, you can sell your products, whether physical, digital, or service-based. And Squarespace will have all the tools you need to get started selling online through your website. You can easily collect email subscribers to build connections and gain repeat customers. And you're also able to to send out sales and promotion to the subscribers. If you're looking for a way to create a unique online presence, boost your brand, or help run your business, Squarespace has you covered. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com to Alexandria Ryan for 10% off your first purchase of website or domain. And just thank you so very much to Squarespace for your continued support of the channel. You help make things like Advent Calendar Season possible. Hey! 
It sucks somebody knows I got chicken skin over there at Sephora. They're sending me all sorts of stuff to get rid of my little lumps. <laughs> the next thing we have here is the First A Beauty KP Bubble Bracer. And then 13 from the EU Advent Calendar. It's a little box. I could tell this was this <laughs> from just from the top of the little cap here. Like, oh, that's from Laneige. And look at that. This is the Laneige Sleeping Mask in Berry. I thought I'd have a little bit more of a scent than that, but the Laneige Sleeping Masks are really nice. Uh, I have a sneaky suspicion that only like me this part of this little pot here actually has product in it just by like, the weight distribution also by the fact that it's 0.28 ounces <laughs> day number 14 here another little door Ooh, but cute though for half a second i thought it was a clear claw clip i saw these little grooves and i was like is that a clear claw clip but no it's a little perfume that's adorable and very small oh chloe oh very light and fresh definitely a little bit on the floral side i don't know if i have any more skin room for more perfumes <laughs> it's fine <laughs> let me hoist up my sleeves we'll go we'll just go all the way down the arm i said chloe with the confidence of like i've tried it before i've not tried it before i've just seen it before um i didn't know what it smelled like I'm, i feel like i'm detecting rose i feel like it's very floral a little bit powdery i think there's some rose in there i'm just gonna roll back up the sleeve <laughs> I'm not gonna sniff it too much more while I keep it in my hoard of other ones. Yeah. Alrighty, 14 is up next. Daily Milk Foliant. A calming oat-based powder exfoliant. That's a new one for me. I've never heard of that before. It's a little it's a little thing of powder. A little thing of powdered milk or oats? Oat milk? You put it into your wet hands and create a creamy lather and then massage onto the face. This is different. Okay, this is interesting. I'm kind of excited to try this. For some reason, I don't love that there's no safety seal and there's just like a powdery hole in the middle of this. Alright, 15 is up next here for the US calendar. That feels very much so like a squeezy too. Next up here from Supergoop, which is just, it's such a fun name. We have not not the most fun product. It is just a SPF 40. Oh, glow screen and golden hour. Oh, maybe this is actually a little bit interesting. Um, I feel like this might actually be potentially like pigmented, maybe a little shimmery. What oh, it is. Okay, well half, halfway right. It said glow screen in like a metallic font. I thought there might be some shimmer to it, but there's not. So uh, it is just a little bit of like a tint sunscreen. You know what? I kind of like that. 15 from the EU advent calendar. Oh, bit of tint. I've been seeing a lot of people use this recently. I feel like this is becoming a pretty popular product and I do love the origin of it. I think that's pretty fun. But yeah, like a little liquid tint here, just kind of like a stay and you can use it on your lips, your cheeks, other areas. Oh gosh, I didn't know it smelled like roses. It says rose tinted. It said nothing about it smelling like trash. It's so light, but I feel like you probably could do like a couple of layers to make it more intense. You didn't just see me wipe my lips on the inside of my sweatshirt because I couldn't find a random piece of paper. I am just really curious. I do kind of want to try this out on my lips just to see what it's like. What's that expression about curiosity in that cat? It choked on rose flavored water. Is that is that how it goes? Okay, I'm gonna take it a little, little easy, a little easier this time. <laughs> Lightly, don't put your lips together. Just let it air dry on its own. What did I just say? Ooh, wow, that's very bright in the camera. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That doesn't look that bright in real life. It is a bit of a vibrant pink for me. It also feels like it's drying out my lips quite a bit. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put on some like lip gloss or something. I do really like the idea of a lip stain. I wonder, do they make these in any other shades or is it just like all the same shade? Cause I wouldn't mind trying out more and maybe like a less intense pink shade. All right, 16's over here. Y'all know what I'm gonna say. Just the Tanya story. Is that Armani? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think it actually is. I was kidding. I, did, I honestly didn't expect anything from Armani to be in this advent calendar for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but we have a little lip powder here in the shade 104. I, I understand how this could look really nice, like maybe with a darker lip liner or something with like a paler lip in the middle. I see that combination a lot on a lot of people and it looks beautiful. I just couldn't imagine this looking nice on me. Do you see how that literally almost like just fades into my skin? If I put this all over my lips, I, my lips would no longer exist. But again, I, I can see the lip combo that this works in in my head and the beautiful, lovely people that it works on. And I just happen to not, just not be one of them. <laughs> oh my goodness, 16 in here is heavy and crinkly. Also looks like it's been leaking. Just a a tiny bit. Oh, it's a candle. I don't know why it looks like it's been leaking out the box, but it's a candle. Very familiar candle, actually. We just received a larger size of this in the Vogue advent calendar, which I personally loved. I think that might, oh gosh, it might be my favorite advent calendar this year. It is a perfect night sleep candle and it has lavender and sweet basil and jasmine. I think it smells good. I didn't think it really smells nice. I'm honestly surprised this arrived in one piece since the little uh, glass washaw didn't. 
Oops, trying to make multiple gua sha pieces. Move along to day number 17 here. <laughs> this is gonna be such a long video. I'm sorry, you guys. Vegamore. That's an odd thing to kind of see in a Sephora advent calendar. Vegamore is like a uh, hair growth company. They're really well known for their serum, but this little guy here is a conditioner. This is the Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner. That sounds actually really nice. I could definitely use some hydration in my hair. I don't think I currently have any leave-in conditioners. Well, that's a scent. That's different than I anticipated. Um, I, I kind of expected it to smell either like, you know, just that kind of standard salon scent or maybe even something like fruity or coconutty. This smells, what the heck does that smell like? All right, date number 17 here from the France advent calendar. What do you know? It's the same daggone scalp purifying scrub. It always is. I feel like if we see Christoph Robin in anything, it's this chunky scalp scrub. I've heard good things. I have heard good things. I'm just still, I've not been brave enough to try it. All right, bottom corner here, date number 18. A lot of stuff that says it's gonna peel things. We've been over this before. It's, it sounds like it's gonna be effective. So this is from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is an alpha beta universal daily peel. Patented two-step peel with five AHAs and BHAs. And it's supposed to help smooth fine lines and wrinkles, minimize the look of pores and all sorts of good stuff. I think this sounds really nice. And also kind of familiar. Have I done this before? I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ah, yes, yes, looking very familiar now. I think I liked it though, so that's fun. Little square box here from the orange advent calendar. Look at that. The tiny proteiny now has like a small, medium sized friend, a medium friend. So, another drunk elephant proteiny peptide thingy. Day number 19 in the little top corner here. Oh my goodness, what a throwback. <laughs> what a throwback. If you guys have been around on the channel for a little while, you'll know that this just had a chokehold on every single subscription box known to man. This is the Smashbox photo finish primer and I bet I had 1500 of these. I could have filled like an Olympic sized swimming pool with just the tiny samples of Smashbox photo finish primer that I had. And now I have another one. It has been a long time. Also, this is the smallest thing ever, is it not? 19 is up next year for the Europe Avent calendar. All right, I think Sephora France and Sephora US are basically the same thing. I paid $235 and shipped a Sephora advent calendar all the way from France just to get the same red liquid lipstick that we've received in every single Sephora advent calendar we've ever had. <laughs> A one, baby, a one. All right, coming in on the home stretch here, date number 20. These letters really messed with my head. I thought that said prey, as in like predator prey. It doesn't. It says reefy, clear, brow sculpt. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Why does it look like that? <laughs> I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see the texture I'm seeing here. It looks like fur. It looks like white fur. In between the little bristles here, like it, it, it looks like fur. I don't know why that's freaking me out so much. I think it's just probably uh, the way it's like pulled through the bristles. Top part looks very stiff. That's that's definitely like stiff peaks if you're whipping a meringue. Just so many brow gels. My eyebrows should never be able to move. And yet here I am ungelled. 20 from Little Orange. This looks like a little doll bottle for like a baby doll. It's kind of cute. This is a Bioma clarifying serum and I really like the color of this. It also seems so familiar. Why does it seem so familiar? Man, I wish I had a memory that worked. It is a triceramide complex with blue tansy PHA. PHA? PHA, AHA. That's a new one for me. And it also has zinc. It's supposed to be a boosted barrier for better skin. So lovely. Moving along here today, 21. Oh, I think we're gonna have another fragrance in here. Ooh, radiant nectar. That sounds nice. This is from Clean Reserve and it says it's in the scent Radiant Nectar. I love really like um, orange smelling things. I'm hoping this smells like a really juicy nectarine perhaps. Like I'm having a hard time smelling it. Either I am fully nose blind at this point or that is an incredibly light scent. I gotta put a lot on there. I'm just not getting anything. Okay, well maybe this is why the little description of it here says a blend of subtle wood notes and soft musk creates a radiant warmth like a summer's day. I did forget nectar is also something that has nothing to do with oranges or nectarines. You know, like what the hummingbirds eat. Man, it's just, it's really light. There is a little bit of warmth there, but th that's an incredibly subtle scent. Again, I could be kind of nose blind though. I do have a lot of, I have a lot of fragrances on me. That is very true. All right, 21 here in the EU advent calendar. Oh, rituals, okay. This is the ritual of my hair. It is a loving body cream that is supposed to energize your soul. Ooh, this one does have sweet orange in it. Okay, sweet orange and a cedar wood. This might smell really good. 
The cedar is very pungent. The cedar, it smells like I'm like inside a, like a cedar chest. Um, the cedar is quite pungent. I'm not getting as much of the sweet orange. Oh, it just, it smells like trees. <laughs> it smells like trees in my hand. All right, 22 is up next year. Getting kind of close to the end of both of these advent calendars. What do we have? Ooh, a nish. Every single time, butter up, can't get anything out. Like a greased hog, where's my spoon? I can't get it out of here. Okay, we have this from Laneige. I'm I'm so slick and all the edges are so rounded. I think it belongs to the calendar. I don't, what is this from Laneige? What do you think that is? Moisturizer perhaps? I don't know. It's a pretty blue color, like the blue color. Maybe we can like CPR it. Okay. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> my husband was concerned for my safety because of all the ruckus. <laughs> But I got it, I got it out. A water blank, blank. Water blank. A blue hyaluronic cream moisturizer. So it was indeed a moisturizer. I honestly didn't expect it to be this big. It is a fun little shape. I like the rounded square. I think it's fun. It's slippery as heck. I do feel accomplished that I got it out of its little plastic prison. All right, day at number 22 feels very interesting inside this little box. Okay, for some reason, I know, I would have never anticipated this to be a full-size mascara inside of there. This is from Huda Beauty. I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is the One Coat Wow Mascara. Now we do have two full-size mascaras inside of this box. I kind of wish I'd done maybe something a little bit different for a different uh, full-size item, but um, this is interesting. I do kind of want to see the wand on this one because I feel like I might actually be interested in trying this out. Okay, so it does have the little spikes to it. It looks kind of like an elongated peanut, a little like this shape. Um, yeah, it's a little spiky one. I typically like more of like a fluffy bristle. Mm, this was a vacation. Why does it smell like vacation? Bowl cleaning products? All right, day number 23, just a tiny little door. All right, I can already tell from the top of this little lid, this is gonna be some type of setting powder. And it's also gonna be a butt to get out. I don't know what it was about this little lid, but it just screamed translucent setting powder to me. So this is from Laura Mercier. All right, day 23 here is kind of a large box in the little EU advent calendar. This looks like it could be kind of, oh. Okay, I thought it was a perfume. Not a perfume. All right, that's fine. <laughs> this is a Jisoo Honey Infused Hair Oil. It says it's supposed to moisturize and nourish the hair from the core, which that's really nice. The key ingredient, honey, is sustainably sourced from the Mirsalai Bee Garden, where our founder, Negan Mirsalai, and her father continue the sixth generation family tradition of beekeeping. That's not, why does that sound so fancy to me? Like generational wealth, but like bees? I'm sure it's lovely. I can only use hair oils if they're very, very lightweight. Um, so I don't know exactly what this one's gonna be like, but it's real pretty. I like the box and everything. All right, day number 24 of the US advent calendar. We still have some days left in here. We got day number 25 and two bonus days. Oh, it's a little Sol de Janeiro spray. I only have one little spray like this from Sol de Janeiro and I think it's the same scent that's in like the Boom Boom Cream. <laughs> this one says it is a combination of white florals, creamy coconut milk, and the warmth of the sun and sand. Sounds lovely. Just coat myself with more fragrance. Oh, and it is lovely. It smells like vacation. It's a really light scent, honestly, um, but it does smell good. It smells very nice and tropical. All right, you guys, day at number 24 here, the final day in the EU, European, France, Sephora favorites advent calendar. Feels a little on the hefty side. I'm thinking potentially maybe, maybe a palette. Why does that look like it could be Wander Beauty? Oh, close call. Oh my goodness, I thought that was a Wonder Beauty palette. I was like, they followed me, they followed me from France. That's a long trip. Uh, but no, we have something from Anastasia. So we have a little Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is a glam to go palette. And then on the inside, we have a very kind of like subtle, kind of light, almost pastel-y selection of colors. Everything just seems a little bit on the light side in here, a little bit powdery. Uh, I mean, they are pretty shades of like very wearable, kind of everyday shades, nice nudes. So yeah, a cute little palette, a nice way to end the advent calendar. And I do like that it's from Anastasia. I used to collect like all the Anastasia palettes. All right, let's go ahead here and get through the rest of the U.S. advent calendar and then we'll, we'll discuss everything. We'll do a little bit of comparison. I'll show you guys side by side of what came in the both advent calendars. All right, so we are on day at number 25. Ooh, that looks kind of fun. What the heck is that? Oh my gosh. This looks fun. I have no idea what this is from. I think it says GXVE on it. I'm not sure if they're meaning for that to just be like one word or stand for something. They're really honestly not telling me much on here. What brand is this from? GXVE? Whatever it is, it's in the shade Anaheim Shine and it is the 
original recipe. Ooh, a very red red. That's actually really pretty. Like in conjunction with this packaging and that red, I think that looks really nice together. I like that the little twisty part here has the GXVE on it. Actually, that part just says GX. What is this? I think this is a very pretty color. I'm definitely not usually a red lipstick wearer, but I'm really loving like the look of this lipstick. I'm gonna have to Google lens this. I'm a thousand years old. Oh, it's from Gwen Stefani. Of course it's from Gwen Stefani. That This looks exactly like her. Red lips and all. The spitting image. Okay, that actually, that makes a lot of sense. G-X-V-E. Something about G is Gwen and then I'm lost. But this, that, that makes a lot of sense. This is from Gwen Stefani's brand. Alrighty, so I think we have cleared all 25 days of the advent calendar. Now we're gonna move on to the bonus days, which I didn't even know was a thing Sephora did. Giving you extra, an uh, extra bonus. That's, that's unheard of <laughs> in the Sephora advent calendar world. Start up here with these smaller little bowls and see what it is. Oh, so we have something from Glow Recipe. This is a strawberry BHA serum. These are pore smooth blur drops and uh, yeah, that sounds nice. Glow Recipe is really nice and a good, good little bonus. Thanks, Sephora. Let's move on here to the final bonus and the final item in the advent calendar. See what we got. That looks kind of big. Also a tiny bit familiar, but I think this is a full size product and a bonus day in a Sephora advent calendar. Somebody needs to check Sephora's temperature real fast. This is from Summer Fridays. It is a lip butter balm. Ooh, tasty. This is a, I like it. I do like it. Hold on. Sometimes, and I don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's an allergic reaction or anything, but sometimes I'll have um like lip gloss or something seep into my mouth and it like makes the back of my throat hurt. I almost feel like it kind of like closes up a little bit. I don't think I'm like having an anaphylaxis. It's just something about lip gloss when it seeps into my mouth, it makes my throat swell. <laughs> And it feels really good on the lips. I like the little applicator. It went on really nice and smooth. There's the tiniest little hint of tint to it. You really can't see it too much on the lips. I like this. I think this is a nice bonus day for Sephora. I do also like that we ended the final day here on a fun, cool, like, makeup product. So these, these are good notes. Good notes for Sephora. Okay, guys, that is everything for the two Sephora favorites advent calendars. The one from Europe and then the one from the US. Honestly, which I'm surprised by this. I truly am surprised by this. I feel a little bit let down, potentially, by the one from France. For it to be so much more expensive, like even if you're not buying it second, like not second hand, but you know, from eBay and you're buying it directly from like the retailer, 140 whatever euros or like 160 something bucks US dollars. So like if I were to purchase this advent calendar right here from Sephora US for 160 plus dollars, I think I honestly would be a little bit disappointed. I really do. It's incredibly skincare heavy. There are some makeup items in here, but like two of them are just full-size mascaras. We did get a perfume that was fully empty, so that's not great. There are some things that I, I like in here. I'm just like trying to picture myself purchasing this for $160 from Sephora US, like what would my reaction be? And I don't think it would be fantastic to be fully honest. Now, the Sephora US advent calendar, I kind of I kind of almost feel the same way. Um, it was only $99, which is a lot of money. That's a hundred bucks. That's a lot of money. But it is incredibly skincare heavy, like super, super skincare heavy. Uh, we don't have an eyeshadow, no eyeshadow palettes, anything like that in here like we did with the other one. There's a couple little makeup-y things in there, like the lipstick and stuff. That's kind of fun. But otherwise, it's just, it's it's mainly just skincare stuff and a lot of samples. So let me go ahead and get you guys like a little side-by-side -side grouping comparison so you can see everything together. All right, so here we have everything from both advent calendars laid out. On this side, we have the U.S. Sephora favorites, and on this side we have the EU Sephora favorites. I feel like they honestly don't look too bad laying up for this. Like, you know, here's my hand for scale purposes for both of them. Here on the U.S. side, we are definitely dealing with mainly skincare. So, like, all of this is skincare, and then we get down here to more, like, makeup-centric items. We do have several little fragrances, which I personally enjoy some of the fragrances, and I love tiny things, so I think they're cute. I definitely feel like I'll be able to get use out of these items here, and I think it's worlds better than a Sephora collection advent calendar, absolutely. But, hundred bucks is, it's, it is a little bit for some stuff that is fairly small. Now some of these items are actually full sizes and some of them are like decent sizes for what they are. Same kind of thing with this side over here. So we do have a good amount of skincare items, but then if there are, you know, several makeup items as well. Unfortunately, we do have a fully empty perfume bottle and a broken gua sha. I definitely cannot get those things replaced. You know, I don't think I can contact the eBay seller and be like, hey, you, where, where's my liquid? There are some things I'm definitely excited about over here on the EU side. I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? I feel like, I feel like I'm like stressing about this.
this one. I can't, I can't really tell if I like them or not. Like part of me is like, oh, 100 bucks, 160 bucks. Well, that's, that's pretty expensive. But at the same time, like it, it doesn't really look that bad laying out. I, I don't know. I need your all's help on this one. All right, you guys. So let me know all your thoughts and opinions. Do you think they are worth their respective prices? I truly, I truly and honestly don't know. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. We still have advent calendars to go. There'll be a lot more videos coming after the advent calendars are all gone, of course. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time.